Stop mga katekete! Dito na naman tayo para sa ating pangalawang vlog. Ang pangalawang vlog natin is all about trigonometric identities. So dito, matutulungan yung mga engineering courses dyan. Kagaya ko, na nahihirapan sa mga identities. So yung trigonometric identities po ay didiscuss ng kaibigan kong si J. Ryan Trapero. From this video, I'll be discussing about the trigonometric identities. Okay, first let's consider the right triangle with the side A, B, and C. So, as we all know, in the right triangle, we can solve the hypotenuse C with respect to side A and B. And C squared is equal to E squared plus B squared. We all know that this equation is called as Pythagorean theorem. Pythagorean theorem. If we have the theta right here, the reference angle, we can solve this both sides with respect to this given theta. How can we do that? Okay, we will use this one at all identities. So, so, ka, so, ka, so, so, in so, we all know that so is sine is equal to opposite side of the right triangle over its hypotenuse. Then, ka is adjacent over hypotenuse. Then, tangent is opposite over adjacent. Okay. Let's prove that one, that equation. Okay. So, in so, we all know that so is sine of your reference point or your, or your reference angle theta is equal to the opposite. So the opposite side of this triangle is the side B, which is B over its hypotenuse C. Okay. Next, the K. K is the cosine of your reference angle theta is equal to the adjacent side of the, this right triangle, which is A over the hypotenuse C. Then tangent to A is tangent of your given angle theta is equal to your opposite side of this right triangle which is B over A. So this three trigonometric identities is the simple triangle identities. identities. Okay. So if there is a simple triangle identity, there is also a reciprocal identities. identities. Okay. So, the reciprocal of sine is cosecant of theta is equal to 1 over sine of theta. We all know that sine of theta is B over C, so we substitute sine theta in terms of B over C. So, simplifying this equation, so you got Musa kasi C, so times C1, so C times 1 is C, then habigin si B, so your cosecant of theta is equal to C over B, or the inverse of B over C, which is the sign. Then the second, and then the cosine is second theta. Then we all know that second is 1 over cosine of theta. Then cosine of theta is a over c. So 1 over a over c. So simplify sa kasi c ma over c a. Then last is the tangent which is the cotangent. So cotangent is 1 over tangent of theta. The tangent is 1 over b over a. So sa kasi a. So minus b. So that's b. Equation of simple trigonometric and reciprocal identities. So next, we'll formulate a Pythagorean, Pythagorean theorem identities. Okay. So first, let's consider this formula: c squared 
B squared and B squared. So in this identities, we will try to formulate the another identities that might be possible happen. Okay. So we will try to divide both sides by C squared and this side also divide both sides by C squared. Okay. So C squared over C squared is automatically 1. Is equal to A squared over C squared plus B squared over C squared. Okay. From the law exponent, we all know that A is a squared over C and squared. So we can simplify that or factor it out the exponent of 2. Then same as sub B over C squared. Okay. Copy the text number 1. Equivalent to, if we back to our simple trigonometric identities, we all know that A over C is a cosine. Cosine, di ba? Cosine. Since it is squared, so you will square. Plus, then B over C, we all know that B over C is sine theta. Since it is squared, this is also squared. So the first Pythagorean theorem identity is the sine squared plus cosine squared is equal to 1. That is the first identity. Okay. Next, if we try to transpose the cosine squared to the other side, we can create another identity. So copy the one. If we try to transpose cosine squared, it will be negative cosine squared because cosine squared in the other equation is a positive. So, the bilang of is C, sine squared theta. Therefore, sine squared is equal to 1 minus cosine squared theta. Second identity. Third identity, if we try again sine squared transpose to the other side, so we one 1 minus sine squared theta is equal to cosine squared theta. This is the third identity. So this is the Pythagorean identity in terms of sine and cosine. Okay. So next, we will try to formulate identities in terms of tangent and second. And how can we do that? Okay. So, okay. Let's consider again the Pythagorean theorem formula. Okay. Ganina, C squared to atom G, divide both sides. So, okay. So, at this moment, we will try to divide both sides by A squared. And the whole term will be divided by A squared. Okay. So, the law of exponent, we can factor the exponent squared. So, we didn't have any C over A quantity squared. Is equal to A squared over A squared is automatically 1 plus B squared over A squared tabarana of B over A quantity squared. Okay. But also, for the other in the case, C over A is equivalent to second. So, instead C over A we can substitute C over A into second theta. So second theta, since this is quantity squared, so second theta must be squared. Is equal to 1 plus B over A in our simple identities. B over A is a tangent. Then since this is quantity squared, so tangent must be squared. Okay. So this is our form identity in terms of tangent and Second, okay. If we try to transpose the positive one to the other side, we can formulate another identity. So second squared, positive one, we transpose that to the other side, becomes negative. Is equal to tangent squared theta. Therefore, tangent squared theta is equivalent <coughs> of second squared theta minus one. Fifth identity. Okay. So next, if we try to transpose 
the tangent squared to the other side, it becomes second squared theta. Mas may tangent, transpose of ikas, ma? Negative tangent squared theta is equivalent of 1. So, yes, yung second squared daw, atong minus na may tangent squared, ili ang mo theta, it becomes positive 1. 6 identities. Okay. Next, so kung manama tag-relate ni sine and cosine na identity, then second and tangent na identity. So next, we will try to relate the cosine term and cotangent identities. So how can we do that? Okay. Let's go say that again, the Pythagorean theorem formula. That C squared is equal to E squared plus B squared. Okay. So gano'y na, kung manang tao, divide both sides by C squared. We will not put out divide both sides by E squared. Okay. This moment, we will try to divide both sides by B squared. B squared. So, C squared over B squared is equal to E squared over B squared plus B squared over B squared. Okay. So, we need to simplify that. So, C over A may be put it in squared. Okay. So, we will go down to the dominator. So, B squared over B squared plus B squared over B squared. Or one. Okay? So, but our simple trigonometric editing is, we don't know that C over B is equal to C over B. Where is C over B? C over B is E cos theta. Yes. Then, this is quantity squared, so it must be quantity squared. Okay. A over B is E cotangent. So since that is quantity squared, so cotangent theta must be quantity squared. Then B over B, or B squared over B squared is 1. So 7 identities. Pictong identities, okay. But we try to transpose the positive 1, so we must manin muna na siya. So second squared theta minus 1 is equal to Cotangent squared theta. So, another identity is. Okay. So, cotangent. Cotangent. We will try to transpose cotangent. So, cosecant squared theta minus cotangent theta squared. We can take cotangent because cotangent in the other side is positive. We transpose that it becomes negative. It's equal to 1. That's the main identity. That's all. Thank you. Okay, so... I hope this is your guide when you will get up a course of basic math and general courses and I hope you understand them. Well. Thanks for watching. Again, thanks for watching. If you understand, enjoy this video. Please like, comment, subscribe. Hashtag, that makes me wanna taste you.